So the fresh and wonderful new OnePlus 7T is one of the very first smartphones to come back in Android 10 right out of the box. And of course, you've got OnePlus's own Oxygen OS version 10.0, the latest version of that, smothered lovingly on top. As you can imagine, there's a bunch of new features thrown in there, and some of those old features have been updated as well to make them even better. So here's our pick of the bunch in our tips and tricks guide, just to give you an idea of some of the new stuff and some of the updated bits. And for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So first up, the OnePlus 7T supports Android's updated gesture navigation support, so you can completely ditch that annoying navigation bar down at the bottom of the screen. To get this set up, just head to the settings menu and then go to buttons and gestures, followed by navigation bar and gestures. With the gesture support enabled, you can basically swipe your finger from the left or the right edges to go back in any app. If you swipe up from the bottom, you'll go back to the home screen. If you swipe up and hold your finger there in the middle, then you'll bring up the recent apps menu. And you don't even really need the recent apps menu anymore because you can now swipe left or right at the very bottom of the screen to flip between the most recently used apps. And with the OnePlus 7T, these gestures are also supported when the phone is in landscape mode as well as portrait. Lovely stuff. Because one of the major hardware updates for the OnePlus 7T is the fresh new Fluid AMOLED display, which can run at up to 90 hertz for a nice silky smooth appearance no matter what you're up to. You can actually choose whether to run this at 60Hz or 90Hz though. The 60Hz level is set by default, it's not quite as smooth, but you do get stronger battery life. To change between the 60 and the 90, just head into the settings menu and then go to display and then screen refresh rate and you can switch between the two just there. And the OnePlus 70's excellent new display also emits less blue light than previous incarnations as well to make it a bit easier on your peepers. And of course you've still got a dedicated night mode to make things even more comfortable in low light situations. Just head to the display settings and then night mode and you can schedule this to automatically turn on and adjust the warmth levels to suit. Any PUBG fans will be very interested in the game space feature which can be found nestled amongst the rest of your apps there in the OnePlus 7T. It's a one-stop shop for accessing all of your games with some bonus gaming features thrown into the mix including performance enhancement and a good bit of notifications blocking so you're not disturbed mid-frag. The Fnatic mode has also come to the OnePlus 7T from the original Pro handset. This completely cuts out all notifications and prevents all other apps from using your data and basically gives you the ultimate mobile gaming experience. Another feature that's been updated here on the OnePlus 7T is the Zen mode. You'll find this in the drop down notifications. Just drag once to the left and there it appears. Now, as before, this deactivates pretty much every feature on your OnePlus 7T. All you'll be allowed to do is make emergency calls and use the camera to snap stuff as well. So you'll basically be undisturbed, completely left alone if you want a bit of private time. However, now you can actually change the duration of the Zen mode from the original 20 minutes, boosting it all the way up to anything up to 60 minutes if you're particularly masochistic. Another feature that makes a welcome return here on the OnePlus 7T is the ambient display. Basically, when your phone's hibernating, you just give the screen a quick tap or pick it up and the ambient display will pop into life and show you if there's any wait notifications as well as things like the time and the date. To customize this, head into the settings menu and then display and then ambient display. And you can also choose between a small selection of different ambient displays if you head into the customization section of the settings. When I say small, I do mean small, but at least it's something. Another handy feature which can be fully customized on the OnePlus 7T is that alert slider sat on the side. Basically a quick flick of this and you'll stick the phone in do not disturb. Very handy if you're about to slip into a meeting. If you go to the settings menu and then buttons and gestures and then alert slider you'll find a couple of different customization options. So for instance whether the silent mode will also silence all of your media and whether the phone should vibrate as well as ring in the standard mode. And if you're buying this lush little phone for your kiddie winks then first of all those are some lucky bloody kids and second of all you'll probably want to check out the OnePlus 70's parental controls. You'll find these within the settings menu, just head to digital wellbeing and parental controls. This allows you to set all kinds of restrictions on how much your kids actually use the handset. And with the Google Family Link app installed on your own handset, you can keep tabs on exactly what they've been up to. Talk about a nanny state. To get Family Link set up, just download the app onto your phone and then follow the instructions to pair up with the OnePlus 7T. Your kid will need their own Google account, of course, for Family Link to work. I'm planning a full video on Family Link and how to get it all set up and working, so stay tuned for that. And as usual here on the OnePlus 7T, you've got full customization over your home screens as well. Just pinch your fingers on those desktops and choose the home settings, and then you can play around with a variety of desktop settings. For instance, you've got the option to pull down the notifications bar with a swipe down from anywhere on that massive display. It definitely helps out when you've only got one hand free. You can also change up the themes, the grid sizes, even the icon styles, all kinds of stuff can be tweaked and fiddled with. And last up, that 
all new fresh triple lens camera. But it's not just the hardware that's changed here on the OnePlus 7T, some of the software has as well. As always, the camera can be quick loaded when the phone is hibernating simply by double tapping that power button. The camera app looks much as it did on previous OnePlus handsets, except now of course you can switch between those three lenses with a quick tap of these icons down here. And you'll also notice a couple of handy new camera features buried away in there. So the first one is in the full photo auto mode, you'll see this little flower icon up top and that is to activate the new macro mode. This allows you to capture subjects up to just 2.5 centimeters away from the lens, so really, really close up. It uses the new ultra wide angle lens and it works a treat. You get some nice sharp results despite that tiny distance. And if you head into the video mode, you'll now find a new super stable mode as well, something similar to the one found on the likes of the Galaxy S10 series. This is great news if you want to shoot some video while jogging about, cycling, something like that, as it uses a combination of EIS and OIS to really cut down on judder. And that right there is a tour of the OnePlus 7T's new UI, some of the new features and some of the updates to original features as well. Are you tempted by it? Definitely let us know in the comments down below. I've done a full side-by-side -side comparison with the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7T so you can see exactly what has been updated in terms of the hardware as well as the software and a full unboxing as well, a bit of a tour going on there. So pretty much everything you can need to know about the OnePlus 7T. And for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers.